you know, at the end of the day, you kind of go out and you make some plays. They make some plays. You make some plays, and um, you know, hope to score more points than the other team. Does a game like today help your maturation? You think? Do you think you grew up a lot? Just oh, absolutely. Game? You know, I definitely grew up a lot today, and a lot of guys in this locker room did. And um, we can definitely, you know, take the experience we've got from this one and and hope to be back next year. Okay, you pretty good up 20 to 10? Did you feel pretty good about things? Um, you know, I, I felt good about things, you know, the whole game. Um, I felt, you know, we were playing good offensively, and I, I thought defense was, was, you know, playing their hearts out. And, um, you know, I thought we were playing pretty well. As great as your defense is, it's surprising to see them give up a lead late, give up some points late. Um, man, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, those guys, they, they played their hearts out. You know, it just, you know, kind of sucks, you know, the way it ended. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I'd take, you know, my defense over any defense in the country. Are you almost surprised you didn't wear them down and twice as many snaps as them in the first half? Yep. And they were still strong defensively in the fourth quarter. Yeah, um, you know, uh, you, you got to give it to Alabama. Uh, they, they played great, you know, going in the fourth quarter. Uh, we definitely ran a lot of plays, you know, in that first half and, um, you know, tried to run the ball in the second half, um, you know, but they played well. Did they make adjustments or did maybe the Georgia execution fall off just a little bit in the fourth quarter? <sighs> Man, at the end of the day, it, it was just a tough physical football game. You know, obviously they made some checks and, and we, you know, had some new wrinkles, but. Um, at the end of the day, you know, they play physical, we play physical, but, you know, they got the, the last one. It looks like you had a little bit of a moment with Sony and Nick there mm -hmm. real quick after the game. What's the message to them after a game like this? Uh, the, the, those, those guys, they've done so much for me this year. Um, they, they've helped, definitely helped me grow up, and and, and I just I, I can't thank them for all they've done. And, and it just, just helped me grow up as a football player, as a person, and I uh, just thank them for everything they've done for the University of Georgia. What, what's the hurt like compared to anything else you've ever experienced in football? Man, it's it's terrible, but um, at, the, at the end of the day, man, I, I'm trusting God's plan. Um, you know, it's definitely not not what I want, but you know, at the end of the day, you, you trust His plan, and and you know, you go to sleep tonight, put your head on the pillow, go to sleep, and wake up, and tomorrow's a new day. Did you feel like you didn't play your best game, or not even close? I mean, obviously, you know, you take some plays back, and you want to play better, but you know, I gave it all, everything I had tonight, and, and played to the whistle. Jake, what was Kirby's message to you guys? Um, you know, that he loved us um, and, and definitely to embrace this last moment we had in the locker room together. Um, be the last time, you know, we would be together with the seniors, um, the seniors that have done so much and, and, and set the standard of Georgia football. Um, you know, they were just incredible, and I'm just trying to cherish the moment. Obviously, it's tough to lose those seniors, but do you feel good about what you guys bring back? Absolutely. You know, they set the standard of Georgia football, and, um, you know, myself and a lot of other guys in this locker room coming back, we, we definitely hope to continue that, and I uh, hope to be back next year.